Here we are, my 96 Z28 Camaro, my 95 BMW 318Ti. Uh, going down to the drag strip with both cars today. Um, going to see what we do. I got a buddy coming out. He's going to uh, race one of them. I'll race one, and then we'll switch. I don't know what the BMW is going to run. It's a bone stock car. 1.8 5 speed with like 256,000 miles on it so she's got some high mileage on her not exactly the greatest race tires or snow tires so they should hook up <laughs> then uh, Camaro I took down there a couple times I took it down there the first time I got the car a couple years ago. Uh, I ran a fastest time then, I ran a 14.1, which is the stock quarter mile time. The car had some gearing, but it was an automatic and wouldn't shift at wide open throttle. So I think the car could have easily gotten to the high 13s, the mid 13s. Because every time it wanted to shift, it just hold the RPM so you had to let off the gas and then ease back into it. Um, so that was not fun. Since then, the car's got a lot of work done to it since then. Uh, bigger injectors, cam, intake, throttle body. Uh, cold air intake was on it when I first got the car. Uh, tuned 411 gears, converted to a six speed with a stage two spec clutch and flywheel. So, I should have some good GoPro videos of it. But, uh, the last time I went, the fastest I went was a 13.6, but my eighth mile times were slower than when it was an automatic. So I think a lot of it's going to be coming down to the driver. It's just, I'm not good at drag racing a stick. I uh, deleted the air conditioning, took it all off nice, so if I ever want to go back to it, I can. Got the taller valve covers, got a spec. It's got uh, an XL distributor. You can't really see it down there. Um, MSD plug wires. I went about the car at shorty headers. Now it's got uh, pace setter long tubes. The pace setter off road Y pipe, uh, 30 pound injectors, Edelbrock intake, 1.6 ratio roller rockers. I don't recall the comp cam specs at the moment. Uh, it's got a SOP loud mouth catback exhaust, the aftermarket muffler, uh, Wellbro high pressure pump, like a 225, I think it is. Got a BBK throttle body. Uh, this car too, it's got like almost 200,000 miles on it. And that's all I did to the car. Uh, the odometer doesn't say 200 because for like three or four years, the speedometer didn't work. Because uh, when I did the six-speed swap, I didn't have the computer tuned for it. And because of that, the speedometer was like, said like 15 miles an hour when you were doing the speed limit at 65. I drove it for quite a few years like that. The F1 racing that I had was my first clutch when I did it. And uh, that was just a cheap eBay one, and it failed on me like a year a year later. But I uh, got a short throw, a B&M short throw shifter, and I got a shorter like stick on it, cloves timing chain, timing chain, uh, P 
PCMS did, or PCM, or Les did the tuning. I like it. Been on the hot rod power turn 2009, now the stickers are all coming off really bad. But that slick speed, that's I think the eight ball shifter. Oh, all burn gear, that's uh, that's my uh, differential. I had the rear end rebuilt. Previous owner, when they he took it to a shop, and when he had Rigi 373 gears put in with the automatic, and the guy who did it didn't shim it right, so it howled really bad. And uh, the posi rear end wouldn't always work. The one time I took it to the drag strip, I had 295s on the back, Firehawks off my 85 Z28. Those are actually the front tires. I got a, drag, a set of drag slicks for today taken to the drag strip. Um, but the posi unit didn't work anymore. So go one wheel and then randomly kick posi. That's no fun going down the drag strip like that because you're going straight one wheel and then all of a sudden kicks posi and the car just instantly want to go sideways. Not cool when you're going down the drag strip. I don't want to show. I don't remember. All right, whatever. Uh, BMW paid like 350 bucks for it. Previous owners weren't that good to it. it had a lot of hack jobs done to it. Um, Front bumper was broke. I put the bumper in, but the bracket over there is broke for the fog lamp. I have it, but uh, I bought it with a blown head gasket, or supposedly took the, pulled the head off, sent it to a machine shop to make sure it wasn't cracked, and sure enough, it was cracked, and they wanted like 600 bucks to fix it. So I'm like, I ain't doing that. Sat for a while. I was gonna do a V8 swap to it, to the LT1 that I got sitting on the floor, and never did it. Um, so then eventually I stuck, went to a junkyard, picked up a cylinder head for pretty cheap, put that on here, pretty much that's it. Uh, still got the oil leak going on there on the timing chain cover. Um, it doesn't leak that bad anymore, but it still leaks. Uh, like a lot of stuff I've been replacing in the car, like the previous owner, the re window regulator must have bent, and he gutted the whole door, cut all the wiring, cut everything. It would rip the door panel off, messed up the door panel, really did a hack job to it. And I got this door off of a junkyard. It's cool that it's black and everything is not, the car's not like 10 different colors. And... Now it's got working power window and everything else. That's nice. The radio's a cheap eBay one for like 35 bucks and once in a while I gotta pull it off and bang on the shifter with it to get it to work again and stick it back in. But like the tabs up here are broke because the previous owner used like wood screws to put everything back in. That just pisses me off. But the sunroof works, which is pretty neat. And the door panel broke on that one. They want a lot of money for a door panel on eBay, like 75 to 100 bucks for used crap. It's like, what the hell? But other than that, the interior's not too bad on it. Fire this one up first. Though the temp gauge kind of does that, you give it a little tap like that, not hard, and it works. Fog lamp works and everything, headlights work. Oh, okay, I lied. 100 and, or 255,000. Or else everything else works in it. Um, no AC. But, tinted the taillights a little bit. Makes it look a lot, a lot nicer with a little bit of tint. Not, don't get too crazy. 
everything else works on the car. Door locks work, windows work. Uh, she's got a little bit of a rattling noise. There's an exhaust hitting one of the bottom members that run across. Saw shot here. Yeah, not too bad, not too ricey, but not too quiet either which is what I like I like to know that the car is running not like oh is it running hate that but the car wasn't an accident before you can kind of see she's kind of cobbled together a little bit but we'll fire up the 96 now get a good exhaust tone on that that sounds a hell of a lot nicer transmission and that is the input bearings going bad on the transmission itself you really can't hear it now but sometimes it gets a little louder can't tell if the camera's picking it up but it's getting quiet now now that I got the clutch pressed in let off makes a little bit of noise but yeah we're gonna go down there and we're gonna switch drivers when we're down there and see if a driver mod on this car will make it go faster and drag slicks will help we're taking that down just for fun <laughs> 